the San Antonio Spurs are showing us they can survive without Javante Murray. Now, I always wonder why did they make that trade to get rid of him after he made his first All-Star game. And, and I'm starting to see why. You know, Trey Jones and Devin Vassell have shown that they can lead this team. And that's that's shocking to say, but these last three games, they they ain't, they beaten some pretty good teams in Minnesota and Philadelphia. And Vassell, the last three games, he's been putting up some numbers and very very impressed with how he can penetrate and create his own offense, come off a of screen and catch and shoot. Trey Jones has been able to lead this team as a point guard. Keldon Johnson, I've always been impressed with how he just came out of nowhere in his rookie season. I know he was a first round pick out of Kentucky. I was one of the few who said he should have stayed in college, but he's impressed me how fast he was able to make an impact on this team. And Primo, he got a lot of playing time. Popovich in this Minnesota game really stuck with the young guys. The young guys got majority of the time, more than McDermott and Josh Richardson. He gave it all to the young guys. That just tells you how much he trusts these guys. Even rookie Sco Sho is it Shohan? Skohan? He got a lot of playing time these last couple games in the starting lineup. This was probably his best game. He was able to catch, he was mostly catching a lot of alley-oops and fast breaks, which he was very effective on, but this team is, I mean, he, they're, I'm, su I'm surprised that the Utah Jazz, the Portland Trail Blazers, and the San Antonio Spurs, of all three of them came out with a hot start. Now, it's early in the season, still early, it's real early in the season, so they might all go on a losing streak, but right now, these three teams have been impressive of how they've been beating teams they're not supposed to be beating. And they blew out the Minnesota Timberwolves. We may have to, I may have to make a video about the Timberwolves because teams are going in there beating them right now with that lineup that I, I did have some, um, did have some, some skepticism about them doing that trade for Rudy Gobert. But it's still early. We'll see if they can uh, make a run. But other than that, San Antonio Spurs have looked very impressive these last three games. But post comments, let me know what you guys think of this young core that Popovich has. And will he stick around for the long haul? And make sure you subscribe to the channel.